these are actually incredibly practical because they, they protect the inside of your knee here. Modern riding boots end up to here, so you end up wearing yeah. here quite a lot. But these mm. really work well. Myself with, my, with the legs, it's something I really need assistance with, certainly as we get to the higher portions of the body. So, as you can see here, I'm lacing the top of the legs to the bottom of the doublet with what they call points. These laces are called points. The foundation garment that I'm wearing underneath is called the arming doublet, and without this, I can't effectively wear the armour because all the armour pieces. It's, they're all separate and they all attach in one way or another to this arming doublet, not just to my body. You see it's not a, a quick process, it takes well several minutes from beginning to end, a good half an hour, 40 minutes. And that's important points out. I'm now fitting body defences which are made up of two components. First is the brigandine which is a coat of plates. And inside here, see all these rivets, they hold the plates together inside the wool. So it makes it quite a flexible armour, but it's not enough to withstand a lance. So I shall reinforce it in a moment with the, the breastplate and the placard assembly. So now this reinforces my stomach here, and of course my vital organs, my heart, my lungs, my stomach, my spleen, if they get punctured or damaged or shot, um, it's quickly going to lead to death. In fact, I only, in the medieval period, I only have to uh, pierce the abdominal wall with a sharp blade. No, it may not kill me there and then. I may well, most likely, will die of septicemia over the course of the next few days or weeks. So, protecting the vital organs is very, very important. We should probably have this on for the rest of the day. So we have to be really careful about making sure it's fitted correctly. Because the last thing you want is it coming loose or it's chafing anywhere, because it would make it extremely uncomfortable. But we're wearing war armor. Um, perhaps we want to give ourselves a little bit more protection, because I'll be struck here. And while I have absolute faith in my arm protecting me, we're going to reinforce it with a shield to help protect my left vulnerable side, but it will also act as a focus point for my opponent. When he lowers his lance and he looks through the sight of the helmet, he cannot see anything very much at all. He cannot see the ground or the horse or indeed the, uh, the squires all running around. All you can see is your opponent galloping towards you and you focus your attention solely on the shield and you don't think about anything else. So we have three for the shield, two for the body, and one for the arm. And of course illegal shots or, or misses, no points at all. If it please you, my lord, the first two to ride will be Sir Edward Stacey for the West 
And to John Babington for the North. The first part of tonight's it's afternoon's like competition. Yeah. Edward stands ready. Yeah. Sir John is Thank ready. You. Cheers. That did look like two breaks from here. It certainly appears that both lances are broken. The next two to ride, my lord. A challenger for the East, Sir William West in gold. And for the South, Sir James Kingsley in red. Sir James is on. Races are down. There's a bit of friskiness going on. Let's hear your support. Here to be two breaks. Lance is broken again, my lord. A strike to his opponent's shield. Three points. Three points for the south. Sir William West. It was a strike to his opponent's head, my lord. Oh, oh. A foul blow. Let's see your support for the second part of the day. Well, there was a strike. Not I quite see, sure what could have happened there. The southern lance remains whole, my lord. It does As appear As we to. know, he needs to break it in order for it to tap. Lord, who's supporting red and the south? Oh, oh. Who's supporting green and the west? Oh, that was a big one. Exactly. That was a big one. This lance has been ripped from his grasp. Here we go. For oh. well, this pass, this is the decide. It is currently level pegging, and it is a genuine fight. Let's hear your support. And the result of that pass, my lord, <laughs> please you. But Sir Edward Stacey, a strike to his opponent's shield. Three points. Three oh. points for the West, for the Green. For Sir John the Babington. Oh, I can't miss him. Can't. A strike to his opponent's shield. Three oh. points. Oh. Measure them. This is what the, uh, his bat on his fought to measure that lance breakage. My lord, the conclusion is clear. Victory 